Hi everybody, this is Miss Cox, and today I'm doing a demonstration of the Moles in Holes project or challenge in Khan Academy. So to get started, this is all about functions. And the great thing about functions are, it basically, if you create a function, it allows you to just redo the same thing over and over without having to write that code over and over again. So let's take a look at what we have right now. So we've got a um, function here, draw mole, because we see it says function, draw mole. So we're starting a function here, um, and we've got the mole's x and y position set. And then basically it looks like we have it drawing the face, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And then down here we've got the grass, um, and then the holes. Okay, so let's see what it says to do. Our grass is filled with holes but has no moles. Thankfully, we've already defined a mole drawing function. So all you have to do to get a mole to show up is to call that function. So to call a function, literally you just write the function down, the name of the function, and then put parentheses and a semicolon. And we'll talk about what's going to go in those parentheses a little later. Now, if I put the mole up here above the background, it's not going to appear because the background will paint right over it. So I'm going to add it below the holes. So my function is draw mole, draw mole, oop, not all caps there, mole, parentheses, semicolon. All right, so now that's the first step. So I'm going to go to the next step now. And now we want to be able to customize where our mole is drawn so that we can move him around or make more moles in the other holes. So right now, this mole is kind of not really in the hole, right? And you know, moles live in holes, so I guess that's what we're going with here, right? <laughs> we're gonna get a mole in each hole. So this first mole, if we change the position of this mole, um, we can move it to the hole. So let's see what it says we should do. Change the function so that, that it takes two parameters, the x and y position, and pass them when you call the function at the bottom. All right, so instead of basically, this is where it gets a little tricky. Instead of saying, mole x is equal to this number and mole y is equal to this number. The problem with that is it's going to draw the mole at the same position every time. So what we want to do is actually get rid of those. And instead, in the parentheses here after function, we're going to say that when you call the function, you need to decide what the mole x position is going to be and the mole y position is going to be. So basically what you're saying is down here, when you call, oh, I didn't put draw mole on the very bottom, uh, there we go. When you call the mole, when you say this draw mole function, you have to put down the two numbers now inside the parentheses as to where you want it to go. The problem is, you're still telling it up here what the variables are. So we have to get rid of this, and this is a little weird because basically you're saying, I'm not going to create these variables anymore. But you're creating the variables up here when you're saying they're basically the parameters. So I'm going to delete these. And then down here, instead of having, um, instead of saying what the variables are going to be in that function, we're going to write it down here. So let's say it's 100 comma 100. Okay, well that doesn't really get him in the middle hole, so I'm going to move him a little down and a little over. There we go. And basically, the next step is to do this over and over. So you have four different moles in each hole. And what you have to do to do that is you're going to call this draw mole function three more times and you're going to change the numbers so the mole actually goes to the different holes. And the key here is with a function, Functions are great, but when you add in parameters, it makes the function a lot more specific and a lot more helpful for you. So the key here is you're basically creating variables in the function so you can then add numbers later. And the cool thing is, if you want to do something random, you, know, you could have a random number. Random, you know, 1 to 50. Uh, let me see, 1 to 50, um, and then I could call another random, you know, I mean, there's a lot of options you can have in here if you wanted to randomize or do something fun like that. Um, with that, any questions, guys? Okay, 
All right. Well, good luck with your projects. Thank you.